Hello and welcome to a little video about exponential growth and decay. And before we dive into the problems, I'd like to take a look at this formula right here. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Okay, so in this formula we have a y and an x, so that we could graph it. But we also have an a and a b, so let's talk about those. Alright, so, oh, I forgot to warn you about zooming in. Alright, so we have our a. A represents your initial amount, which means your beginning. So what you start off with. If you don't see an a there, if it's just b to the x, we imply that there's actually that invisible one. Okay. All right. Next, we have a b. This b is going to be either our growth or decay factor. This is how we'll know if it's growth or decay. If it's growth, your base, B for base, is larger than 1. If it's decay, we have a base that's less than 1 but greater than 0. And actually, this is where I see most mistakes happen, and let me explain that a little further. I'm going to do it up top here. If we have something like Y equals negative 7 to the power of X, B is not negative. It's actually an invisible negative 1 times 7 to the x. Okay, so if you ever see a negative, it's not the growth or decay factor, it's the initial amount. All right, that's the most common mistake I see, so I want to make sure I told you about it. Let's look at the problems now. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so here we want to identify the growth factor and the um, growth factor. Oh, initial amount. I just said growth factor twice. Okay. So first we have our initial amount, 2, and a growth factor of 3. In number 4, we have a growth factor of 2, and initial amount of negative 3. All right. In number 5, okay, so number 5 is a pretty common equation that you're going to see when it comes to interest. We have a $3,000 principal earning with a 4% compounded annually after six years. So that's how much money you'll earn, 4% of it. Before I plug this into my calculator, I just want to discuss it a little bit. Our 3,000 principal, that's our initial amount. Principal is what you start off with. Earning means increasing 4%. So we start off with 1 for 100 and 0.04. That's 4% as a decimal. And then we finish it with a 6 for 6 years. Okay, so that's all good and dandy. The first thing, the very, very, very first thing that you should enter into your calculator is this portion. Once you get that answer, you can multiply it by 3,000. And what I got was $3,795. I'm going to round it to 96 cents. Okay, number seven. Okay, so it's giving us a principal earning percentage and how many years, but no equation. So let's write our own equation. F of X, we have a $5,000 principal Just slowly color coding it, hang tight, times an earning of 4%. So 4% is 0 0.04. Since we're earning it, it's going to be 1.04 because it's 100% and 4%. We want it to get larger. And lastly, we have the time. 10 years, so my 10 is going to be this exponent. Uh-oh, I don't know what I did. Oops. Okay, we're all good, we're all good. I pressed a button by accident. Okay, now this is going to go into your calculator. What you want to do is to make absolutely sure that the first thing you calculate is this. Then you multiply by 5,000. What I got for my answer 
is $7,401. I'm going to round the cents to 22. Voila. Let's continue. All right, identify the initial amount and decay factor. Aha, decay now, it's telling us. All right, number nine, uh, this is our initial amount. We start off with four, and our decay factor is 0.2. All right, not bad. Okay, uh, tell whether this equation represents growth, decay, or neither. Okay, so let's take a look at number 12. Uh, we don't care about the initial amount. We really just care about this base. 0.5 is less than 1. So, decay. Number 13. Okay, this one's funky. Take a look at this. It's x squared. The exponent for exponential functions should be the variable. So it shouldn't be x to the power of 2. It should be something like 2 to the power of x. That's n for neither. OK. Ah, fish. I've been playing lots of Animal Crossing, so oh, fish, those fish that are sometimes tigers. <clears throat> Anyways, um, a fisheries manager determines there are approximately 3,000 bass in a lake. So that's, that's our initial amount. We start off with 3,000. The population is growing at a rate of 2% per year. That's going to be a growth of 2%. There it is. And our initial amount is 3,000 base, 3,000 base. Uh, my bad. Um, how many base will live in the lake after four years? Okay, well, what we need to enter in our calculator is 3,000 times 1.02 to the power of 4. Now remember, the first thing you should be doing is entering 1.02 to the power of 4. Okay, then you multiply by 3,000. And we have an answer of 3,247 base. Now, we do have a decimal, but there's no such thing as 0.29 fish. Okay, we're going to round down we can't have parts of fishies. That's not okay. We're talking about live fish here, not dead fish. All right, letter B, I'm going to do that up here. Seven years. Okay, so what you're doing here is just the same, oh, that was atrocious, same equation. Except this time, you're raising 1.02 to the power of seven. And of course, remember, to do the powers first, okay? So the first thing I did is 1.02 1 .2 to the power of seven, and I multiplied that by 3,000, and I got 3,446 base. I am not going to do 0 0.05 because there can't be 0 0.05 of a fishy, all right? Letter C is asking us about how long there'll be um, 4,000 base in the lake. Bass. I keep saying base, don't I? Ay, ay, ay. Well, in order to figure that out, you kind of want to plug in some numbers. Okay? So the first thing that I did here is I attempted to see what if we did 10 years. So when I plugged it in for 10 years, the answer I got was pretty darn close. It was 3,656. So it should be it should be more, right? Let's try another one. I'm not sure if you've shown how to do this in your calculators or not, um, other than guess and check. Uh, but that's the way we're gonna do it right now. Okay, so I entered 15, and I got 4,037. I'm gonna try 14 years. 1.02 to the power of 14 equals times 3,000 equals 3,958, so after 14 years. Again, this was just guess and check. I plugged and chugged into my calculator until I got something darn close. That, that year should have an S. Okay, let's continue. 
All right, so this is just visual things. We want to take a look at exponential growth, decay, or neither. Um, I highlight 19 and 20 because I just want to show you what growth and decay looks like and how I like to determine it. Okay, for number 19, this is how I do all my graphs. I'm going to place my finger at the very left side of the graph and I'm going to trace. Which way is my finger going? It's going up. So that's growth. Let's do the same thing for number 20. We're going to click or put our finger on the very left part of the graph and trace. It's going down. That's decay. Um, number, just in case you're curious, 18 and 21 are obviously not exponential. Um, 18 is actually a quadratic and 21 is an x to the power of 3. Okay. I hope that helped, cleared some stuff up for you. If you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, yeah, that's about it. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.